Some textiles look beautiful, but whatever the fabric, creating them requires massive amounts of energy, uses up vast quantities of resources, and often leaves huge volumes of waste. But the way you make textiles and what you do with the pollutants can often have a huge effect on how their production impacts on the environment. Coming up, we travel to Bangladesh's slums to discover just how polluting the textiles industry can be. We ask what different governments are doing to get the industry to clean up its act and find out why building a £2 million water treatment plant is saving Axminster carpets a fortune. Keeping textile factories running requires vast amounts of energy and resources. In Bangladesh, the industry is dominated by cotton and turning each tonne of cotton into finished fabric uses about 65,000 kilowatt hours of power and takes 250,000 litres of water. It's no surprise that almost three quarters of the water is used for what are called wet processes. Things like washing, bleaching and dyeing. With limited funds available to the government, meeting the water and power needs of Bangladesh's rapidly growing textiles industry is proving a major challenge. Most of Bangladesh's energy is generated by gas and coal-fired power stations. And that means that almost all the electricity used in the factories adds to pollution and CO2 emissions. When it comes to water, Bangladesh might be one of the wettest countries in the world, but a lack of funds means the supply network is dilapidated. Factories often get priority over people, and as the textiles industry uses more and more water, an increasing number of people don't have access to supplies. As the textile industry continues to grow, the situation looks set to get worse. But water and energy use aren't the main reason textile production can impact on the environment. From inks to dyes to caustic soda and all sorts of alkalis and bleaches, most of the wet processes in textile production involve potentially harmful chemicals. The result is that Bangladesh's textiles industries produce around 56 billion litres of contaminated water a year. That's enough to fill 22,500 Olympic-sized swimming pools. And if that water is allowed to leave the factory untreated, it can have a massive effect on the environment. This river runs through one of the main textile and tannery areas in Dhaka. It's one example of just how bad textiles pollution can get. Untreated waste from dyeing and washing processes flows freely from the factories. And that's not the only thing going straight into this river.